The Metro North Railroad is a commuter service operated by the MTA, running service between New York City and suburbs in New York and Connecticut. The service operates to cities like Yonkers and White Plains in New York, and Stamford, Bridgeport, Waterbury, and New Haven in Connecticut. It is the second busiest commuter rail service by ridership in the United States, only behind the Long Island Railroad. Currently, all Metro North trains use Grand Central Terminal as their exclusive Midtown Terminal, using the Park Avenue Tunnel to run through Manhattan. At Harlem 125th Street, the three lines separate, with the New Haven line running into Connecticut, while the Harlem and Hudson lines run into upstate New York, towards Wasaic and Poughkeepsie, respectively. Since 1969, the MTA has completed three separate screenings for a plan to potentially bring the Metro North service to the west side of Manhattan at New York Penn Station. It would open up access to the other side of Manhattan for commuters from upstate New York and Connecticut. The name for the project, Penn Station Access, was created in 1999 after the Federal Transit Administration and the MTA posted a notice of intent to complete an environmental impact statement, beginning the process of the project. Penn Station Access would be a complement project for the East Side Access Project, which was a plan that saw Long Island Railroad bring operations to Grand Central Madison instead of Penn Station. Prior to this project, all LIRR trains only terminated at Penn Station in New York. The Metro North would use two different lines to get their trains into Penn Station. Phase 1 would see trains on the New Haven line be rerouted via Amtrak's Northeast Corridor into Manhattan. New Haven Line trains would use the Northeast Corridor instead of continuing to Grand Central, near New Rochelle. From there, Metro North trains would use the Northeast Corridor to access Penn Station, using the Pelham Bay Bridge to cross into the Bronx, then the Hellgate Bridge into Queens, before crossing under the East River using the East River Tunnels, which are also used by Long Island Railroad and terminating New Jersey Transit trains into Sunnyside Yard. This phase would also include the construction of four new Metro North stations in the Bronx, located in the Co-op City, Morris Park, Parkchester, and Hunts Point neighborhoods. Phase 1 of Penn Station Access completed its design process between 2019 and 2021. The MTA agreed to replace the Pelham Bay Bridge and pay fees for using Amtrak's Hellgate Bridge in exchange for being allowed to use the Northeast Corridor and building four new stations on Amtrak territory. The expanded Metro North service would operate in the Moynihan Train Hall region of Penn Station. In 2021, the Federal Transit Administration and Federal Railway Administration allowed the project to move into the construction phase. The groundbreaking took place on December 9, 2022 in the Bronx. Although an original completion date was set for March 2027, Amtrak's failure to approve a temporary closure of the Hellgate line for a period of up to eight months in order to allow for construction to go ahead has pushed the date back by almost nine months. Trains on the Hudson Line, which traveled directly north into upstate New York, would travel their normal route until Spite and Dival, where it would then use Amtrak's Empire Connection Line, also known as the West Side Line, to connect to Penn Station. The problem here comes by the fact that the majority of the West Side Line is not electrified, so the many M3 and M7 rail cars in use on the Hudson Line would be unable to travel to Penn Station unless the line is electrified. Furthermore, trains on the Hudson Line use underrunning third rail, while Penn Station and LIRR tracks use overrunning third rail. The MTA would have to modify cars and specially equip them to operate with both systems. The plan would also include two new stations served by the Hudson Line, one at West 125th Street in Manhattanville, and one near 62nd Street on the Upper West Side. This portion is considered Phase 2 of the Penn Station Access Project and has therefore not undergone construction just yet. Alongside the new tracks, interlockings, and stations being constructed, new AC and DC substations would be created along the line because Metro North's M8 rolling stock aren't compatible with Amtrak's 25 Hz catenary system. So, there is a quick look at the next commuter rail project in New York City. It opens up lots of new connections for riders from upstate New York and Connecticut. Specifically, the ease for businesses and travelers in Connecticut to access New Jersey, using NJ Transit and Metro North services which would connect at Penn Station. Like the East Side Access Project, 
This Metro North version would certainly be a huge boost in ridership and for some people take time off of their commutes. However, it further complicates the Northeast Corridor situation. East of Penn Station, the NEC is not nearly as crowded and old as it is to the West. Regardless, this would be a quite a heavier load to add onto the tracks, and would certainly require the replacement and rehabilitation of infrastructure, especially the section near the East River Tunnels, which would be used by Amtrak, Metro North, Long Island Railroad, and some New Jersey Transit trains heading towards Sunnyside Yard. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe and like the video, and comment anything you want to see in future videos. Thanks for watching.